Now, video footage that was seen around the world at the start of the month claiming to show the aftermath of an alleged chemical attack in Syria is now being called into question. A team, of, uh, a team from our sister channel, RT Arabic, visited the town of Douma. Earlier, Rory Suchet discussed what they saw with Yugo Zhidanov. What we've seen so far from this place wasn't much. Mostly it's been a video released by the White Helmets activist group. You're looking at it right now. It's shot in a hospital and it shows some truly heartbreaking pictures. The scenes of chaos, of panic, confused children being hosed down with water, everything pointing at a potential chemical attack. But our RT Arabic crew managed to talk to a boy who was featured in this video of the White Helmets and uh, he gave his account of uh, events in that hospital. Have a listen. We were outside and they told all of us to go into the hospital. I was immediately taken upstairs and they started pouring water on me. Do you remember where it happened? Here with the hose. Where is it? Here it is. They poured water on me, they put me here, and then took me upstairs to my mother. Where exactly upstairs? The second floor. Upstairs, over there. The doctors started filming us here. They were pouring water and taking videos. Then my father came and found me. Someone had told him we were here, so he came and took me away. I went upstairs and saw my wife and children there. I was very surprised and asked what had happened, why my son's eyes were red. I found out that it was water, but it was cold. He could have got sick. He was undressed. When I took my son, they at first told me that they still needed him, but I still took him away from there. The boy is clearly in shock still. To have to go through something like this, of to go through such terror at his age is unthinkable, really. We've reached out to the White Helmets requesting a statement of some reaction to uh, what's, being, what's being filmed in Duma right now, but we're still to hear back from them. Igor, as I understand, there was other footage from the alleged scene of the attack, wasn't there? Yes, indeed. There was another video released by another activist, and it is apparently from an apartment building where the actual chemical projectile, the alleged chemical projectile, landed. This is the initial video that we're showing you right now, and this is the projectile. We, uh, our crew, again, managed to get inside this uh, very building. So to the left, you can see uh, our video, and to the right is the original one. And initially, how the media reacted to the first released video, well, they saw it as rock-solid evidence of a chemical attack. The chemical weapon that killed dozens of civilians here. Canisters that the Assad regime has previously used in chemical attacks. The Assad regime has used the same yellow gas canisters. The NSC telling Fox News they have a high degree of confidence that it was used. Apparently, the projectile was still toxic, was still fuming with the, something toxic, and that's why they had to wear a mask to protect themselves. But we've spoken to a number of experts, and they've told us that a mere gas mask is basically not enough to protect oneself from a toxic substance. If that were a nerve agent, uh, whether he's got his, his, his face covered or not, it's going to go right through his skin. The only protection that he could have is if his whole body were in a chemical controlled suit. If it were chlorine gas, uh, that would protect him from, from some small leaking of the chlorine gas for a while. And it doesn't make any, any, any sense. I could see it going through a roof and never even breaking. It's a silly way. And even if it did break open, the dispersal of the chlorine might only kill the people in the room, but not even people outside the room. They'd have time to get out. Now, an international chemical watchdog is, uh, well, carrying out its investigation in Duma. Do we know what level, what stage they're at now in the investigation? Well, the OPCW in inspectors, the fact-finding mission, they are in Damascus, but they so far have not been able to enter Duma. It's not safe. UN security mission, uh, they went to the city of Duma with the Syrian army and they came under small arms fire. So far, it's not safe enough. But this whole endeavor is, has somewhat been rendered, well, almost irrelevant, I should say, 
because the retaliation for the chemical for the chemical attack that's there's no confidence yet uh, in the fact that it even happened in the first place but the retaliation is already there the US the UK and France launched more than a hundred missiles uh, to strike targets they believe the Assad government are using to produce chemicals right now the big intrigue is what the official investigation is to show uh, whether or not the attack happened